Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm here with uh, a good friend and his cat, <laughs> uh, Theoklis Zautis, Dr. Theoklis Zautis, who is uh, an American of Icarian descent, and we're here in Icaria uh, on the north side of the island. Theoklis just finished a really interesting uh, first part of a study that ties the microbiome uh, to longevity. And I just wanted to ask him a few questions about the study, and uh, let's let's go. Uh, so, Thelkli, um, tell me a little bit, just in a few words, in simple words for people who aren't doctors, uh, what the Great. gist of the study was all about. Well, first of all, thank you for having me today. Um, there's been uh, a lot of attention paid to Ikari as a, as a, an island that belongs to the blue zones. Right. These blue zones are places in the world where people live extraordinarily long lives. Right. <laughs> and there's been an attempt to figure out why uh, do people live long lives in Icaria and these other places. And the theories include um, um, diet, healthy lifestyles, a sense of community among the elderly, so mm -hmm. there's less depression and isolation, which uh, can increase uh, lifespan. Um, our study uh, focused on the microbiome. Mm -hmm. The microbiome is the um, the bacteria that um, it's okay <laughs> that uh, live within us. We are more bacteria than we are human cells. Uh -huh. So the microbiome is very important for health. So our theory was that the, somehow the microbiome of Icarians may be linked to longevity, or at least may be different in Icarians than it is in other. Um, uh, people in Greece. So how did you, what were their cohorts? How did you, did you come do a comparison study? Yeah, so we picked a place, uh, another Greek island that has relatively similar characteristics. It's a little isolated, it's rocky, so that historically access to the island has been difficult. Uh -huh. um, and we collected stool specimens from old people in Icaria, people who are o over 90 years of age. Uh -huh. Elderly people over 90 in Astipalia, children three to five years old in Icaria, and children three to five years old in Astipalia. So we had four groups of people from which we collected stool samples to uh, look at the microbiome. Okay, and what did you find? <laughs> um, it was very interesting, actually. Um, we, when we look, let's look at the children first. The children three to five years of age in Icaria and Astipalia had no differences in their microbiome. Okay, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> um, the elderly uh, in Icaria had differences in their microbiome um, compared to Astipalia. In what way, you would ask, yes, in what in way? way. Um, they had healthier bacteria. So the microbiome has, um, uh, there are harmful bacteria in the microbiome and healthier bacteria mm. in the microbiome. The Icarians had more of the healthy bacteria and also more diversity. So having more diverse bacteria in your um, gastrointestinal tract is linked to health. Okay. And there are now studies that have linked the microbiome to longevity as well. So um, very interesting findings. Um, so you would ask me what that all means. Um, we don't know. So is it true, true and unrelated, meaning that the healthier older Icarians just tend to have a healthier microbiome or is somehow the microbiome assisting them in living longer and healthier lives? Oh, so that's an interesting sort of a catch-22 kind of question. Right, so I, we cannot determine causality. Does does the microbiome cause... Ow! <laughs> my cat. <It's> a... <laughs> this cat is a little aggressive here. Um... um so you don't know why the microbiome is different or healthier in so Icarians. we what we know about the microbiome in general not just in Icarians, is that um things that influence the microbiome are diet mm -hmm. um so in some way is the diet so different in Icaria than it is in other places like astipalia that it leads to a healthier microbiome or can i in, ask you a question yeah, yeah. a little parentheses could it also be there are some unique um, things in the soil in Icaria. Mm -hmm. For example, I know in winemaking, mm -hmm. there's, there are particular enzymes that affect the way sugars are turned mm -hmm. to alcohol when you make wine mm -hmm. and keeping the alcohol level high while allowing mm -hmm. fermentation. So do you think, is it, there's any, am I totally off? No, you're here? not totally off. There are, there are things in the soil and 
we eat dirt all day long. <laughs> Whether I mean, I know that sounds crazy. In, but in more ways than one. <laughs> um, but I would have expected to find the, in kids too, find the differences oh, in the kids because okay. kids are out there playing right. in the soil and the dirt. So why not in the kids and why in the older people? This study has led to more questions than it has answers. Um, so. So what's the next step? Um, well, what would be interesting is to examine the microbiome in the other blue zones. Now, right. those are places that, you know, are difficult to access research-wise unless there's significant funding and cooperation, but we're going to look into that, at least get some samples from uh, other blue zones, because if the blue zones all share the same microbiome, that would be fascinating. Do you think there's a likelihood of that? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of scientific wishful thinking, That's right. right? Yeah. Um, there are other things that could that influence uh, the microbiome and longevity, which is genetics. Right. Um, what would be really interesting, and one direction I think we could go in the future and would be interesting, is to, um, to look at the DNA. Is there a genetic advantage to Icarians for some reason? Yeah, I mean, there's also the, the radon in Icaria. Mm -hmm. that, you know, so we joke around saying the people who can, you know, who survive the radon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, somehow, so I think something that's probably going to be a controversial statement I'm going to make is that, you know, being an isolated island, the genetic pool doesn't get mixed very well. I'm not right. saying that brothers and sisters or anything right, like that, of course. Yeah, yeah. but there's, you know, a pretty closed genetic pool. So is there a genetic advantage, um, especially among the older people that we're now finding in determining blue zones? I don't know if the younger generation will live this is the big question, right. right? I mean, we're all promoting the blue zone, Icaria, you know, whatever. But do we know, like, will our generation live to be 100? Will our kids, you know, live to be 100? Uh, we have no idea. We have a lot more stress than our grandparents did. So that's also a factor. And I, I think something to leave um, this conversation with is a positive note that whether we can explain it scientifically, I think there are aspects of Icarian life that uh, are well worthwhile all of us incorporating into our lives. I mean, healthy food, healthy diet, um, a sense of community. And I think that's yeah. really important. That's Something really important. in Icaria that we see and mm, a lot of people comment on is how this cross-generational um, people sit together, yes. the younger ones, the older ones, whether it's at a, an Icarian festival or a table in a cafe. Yeah, in the village. And um, the elderly don't feel isolated. No. And we know that um, in places, and I, we both are from the United States, you know, isolation elderly leads to morbidity yeah, and depression. Yeah, alienation. So. You feel, t it's lonely. You're lonely. So whether we figure this out or not, the reason, um, I think there's a lot to be learned from Icarian, the Icarian way of life. I think so too. And one last question. Yeah. Was the diet of the 90-year-old Icarians significantly different? Well, was it more plant-based? Or is that... We didn't collect a lot of the information on their diet. Okay. Um, but that's a possibility. It may be that the kids are eating things that are not similar to what the adults are eating. The older people who are used to eating their plant-based uh, diet, their beans, their legumes, their... Right. And, and the younger generation is more into the burger and the, the less healthy uh, food. So we'll see. Lots of more questions. Lots more questions. All right. Thank you so much. Thank this you for having great. me. Great. This was great. Thank you uh, for staying tuned.